Hey all, Frozen Foxy here coming to you this uh, Sunday, February 27th. Month is uh, almost up. It, uh, it really seems like the, uh, the first months of the year always pass by really quickly. I don't know. I don't know what's with that, but it seems like uh, the first first part of the year really gets consumed fast. And then uh, as the, the later part of the year goes on, it seems to take much longer to actually get through. I don't know. I don't know why I feel like that, but it, it just seems seems like that's the way of things. I don't know. May, maybe maybe it has something to do with waiting for like the holidays to come around and you're like waiting forever. Uh, and then suddenly the holidays come around and everything just seems to uh, go into overdrive real fast and the holidays are gone again. <laughs> I think I think that must have something to do with it. Anyway, uh, someone had uh, asked uh, recently about the fact that I used to uh, to do videos in bed. I think it might have been uh, Shirty 3, honestly. And for any of you who have been around with me for for quite a while, you you know that I used to uh, to uh, have a uh, weird setup where I had my microphone and I was just playing the computer right in bed. It was uh, it was a fun time. It was uh, it was a time long long ago when I used to do that when I had less space to do things. Um, but I've actually developed into a little bit better of a setup. So uh, I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and show you that. And I, I even got Skittles as she was trying to investigate some of my setup anyway. So she's in there too. Hey Skittles, what are you doing over there? <laughs> you having fun over there? Sniffing the boxes? So uh, someone was asking me the other day, um, about my, my setup. They were like, I remember you used to, uh, you used to do your stuff in, uh, in bed. Well, I've, uh, I've kind of upgraded from that and I, uh, I have a little bit better of a setup now. It's not like great or anything, but, uh, I, I certainly enjoy it. I've got, uh, I've got this random, uh, uh, wolf over here that someone, uh, burned into a piece of wood. I found it in some kitschy shop and I was like, that's really cool. I want to keep that. Um, and then I've got, uh, I've got Link up there, um, in a, uh, Skyward Sword poster. Um, and of course we've got, uh, uh, Rainbow Dash over there. That is, uh, that's all for my girl right there. She likes, uh, she likes ponies, but I was like, that's cool. I like the way it looks. I'll put it on my wall. Um, and then I've got, of course, Garrett in the middle there and a, uh, a split painting. That's, uh, that's definitely one of my favorites having the, uh, the little thief painting over there. And then I've got, uh. The, uh, the Witcher emblem on my wall as well. So uh, I think the uh, I think the whole thing uh, looks pretty cool to me. I mean, it's not like the most amazing setup in the world, but I, I enjoy it. And then I've got uh, a little kind of Alice in Wonderland uh, sculpture down there on my uh, on my desk next to uh, next to my screen. Anyway, thought I would uh, go ahead and show this stuff since someone was asking, hey, weren't you uh, like recording from bed at some point? And yes, yes, for the old hat people, I was at some point doing that. But uh, my setup is a little bit better than that now. Um, but anyway, uh, other than that, I am uh, I'm going to go ahead into the gym once again today. The knees feeling a little bit stiff. Um, so hopefully that doesn't really bother me too much while I'm actually in the gym and uh, get through the, uh, the cardio just fine. But I'll, uh, I'll see y'all on the other side. All right, everything went pretty well. Got another day of the, uh, the gym done, so that's cool. Um, and uh, a little bit further into, uh, into Firestarter, which uh, has been a pretty good book so far. I've been, uh, I've been really enjoying it. Um, actually had a mention from, uh, from someone recently, I think it was uh, Cottage Pie, uh, about a book series called, uh, Sandman Slim, um, that I'm really going to have to check out because it sounds, uh, right up my alley. It, uh, it sounds like it's, uh, pretty similar to the Dresden Files. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to, uh, to have to check that one out. That, uh, that seems like I would, uh, find a lot of interest in that. I'm not sure if I'm going to check that out as the next books that I want to, uh, go after, um, or if I'm going to keep, uh, continuing on with my Stephen King kick. Uh, I kind of want to finish the entire Stephen King library, or at least uh, what he's done up until this point, just because I want to uh, uh, get the the full story of everything that uh, that he's put out there. I've I've definitely heard a lot about how uh, things start to really come together in some of those books, so uh, I am I'm highly interested in uh, uh, learning some more. Um, 
So yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna if I'm gonna switch feet or not. I might. <laughs> it's it's very possible. I have gotten tired of uh, of Stephen King uh, before. There's a lot of uh, the way that he writes his stories that is pretty much the uh, uh, the same in tone. So at some point, uh, as I've been reading it, it's like. Uh, I can only stand this tone for so long before I want something different, something to excite me again, you know, something that's uh, opening up more adventure all over again. Um, not to say that Stephen King is a bad writer or anything, but sometimes when you're just reading the same thing over and over again, it becomes uh, a little bit of a slog, uh, even if it is a different story. Um, anyway, uh, for uh, for tonight's shirt and uh, a completely different story of which uh, I've tried to read some of the books and haven't really enjoyed them, uh, the, the shirt of the night uh, is an alien or a xenomorph who is playing what appears to be a PlayStation with an NES controller. <laughs> and it says, game over, man, game over. So, yeah, no, I, I really enjoy this shirt. It's... Uh, it's one that most people don't even uh, uh, do a second take of to really realize that there's some weirdness going on with it. <laughs> but I but I certainly uh, do enjoy the shirt quite a bit. Not to mention, I am a, a pretty big fan of uh, uh, Xenomorphs in general. I loved the Alien Isolation video game, for example. Um, I've, I've heard rumors that there's going to be uh, more Alien Isolation on the way, but I haven't really seen anything actually come of that quite yet um i would uh, i would totally be interested in seeing that story get expanded upon though uh, i really hope it uh it doesn't end up being something that isn't as good as the original one which does in uh, many cases happen when people are trying to uh, just cash in on the original so in some ways it's a good thing that it's not like being rushed out the door because it it, uh, it at least makes you feel like, hey, they must be trying to put love and effort into it, right? Um, but we'll, we'll see if it, uh, if it turns out to be absolutely amazing or if it turns out to be Duke Nukem Forever. Oh my god, that was terrible. <laughs> What a terrible game. They should have never, they should have never brought it out of uh, its dead state. They really shouldn't have. Anyway, I will see you all later. Hopefully uh, we will continue this on tomorrow. If not, I'll probably just do some weightlifting um, and skip a day. It really all depends on how my knee is feeling tomorrow. Um, but bye for now.